So we started Hawk Off-Road back in 2006. Our goal was to build the most capable products for Jeep Wranglers in the off-road industry. To that end, we designed an entire line of products for Jeeps. We would thought about, many times, the possibility of branching out into other vehicles and designing parts for them as well. When we found out that Ford was going to be re-releasing the Bronco and it was going to be off-road capable, we were very excited to get our hands on one of these Broncos and design a complete line of products for it. So our goal in getting this new Bronco in here is to really dissect it, learn everything we can about how it functions, and make it more capable off-road, and then protect it from that harsh environment that these Broncos are going to find themselves in. There's quite a demand for these new Broncos, so locating one that fit our needs was a little bit hard. We found one down in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. It was a big bend edition that had the 2.3 liter four-cylinder turbo and a 10-speed automatic gearbox. Because we're going to be replacing the axles, wheels, tires, suspension, and interior, we decided to go with one of the lower level trim packages since we're going to be replacing a lot of the components anyways. We noticed right out of the gate that the new Bronco had great on-road handling characteristics, especially due to its IFS front suspension system. So it seemed like a great platform on-road, but how was it going to be off-road? Was it going to be just as capable as a Jeep Wrangler? It was nice to see that the Ford engineers thought ahead about the design of the suspension and wheel well openings on the Bronco. The wheel well openings are massive to allow for upgraded larger tires, and the suspension is designed so that you can upgrade to heavier duty axles and long travel suspension. So now that we've got this Bronco back to the hot shop, we're excited to get it into the shop and start tearing it apart and seeing what we want to design, what we want to improve on this new Bronco platform. So in typical Hawk fashion, our minds immediately went to ripping out the four-cylinder, putting in a large V8, switching it over to solid axles, and going completely crazy with it. However, we wanted to build this in stages. So our first goal is to build a capable daily driver, something that has really nice off-road bumpers, skid plates, rock rails, it's capable on-road and off, and then we're going to continually progress and step it up stage after stage till we see what that sweet spot is and how this Bronco really works off-road. So the new Broncos are cool, but you know, they just need to toughen up a little bit. They need, uh, they need lifted, they need some bigger tires, they need some aggressive bumpers and, you know, some Hawk touches. Carter here with Zone Off-Road. I have a marketing manager over there for the last 11 years. And uh, right now we're here to check out a bunch of cool builds but uh, really focus on the Ford Bronco that we partner on with Kenny Hawk. So with Zone Off-Road, we've been in business for about 15 years at this point. Our focus is high quality American-made lift kits, uh, but not breaking the bank to do it. So we're gonna give you a high quality kit, but it's not gonna break the bank to put the lift kit on your vehicle and go have fun with it off-road. Bronco is such a hot button right now. It's a brand new vehicle out. There's so much buzz in the industry about it. So when he gave us a call and said, hey, building a Bronco, what do you think? I said, yes. <laughs> Pretty simple, yes, count us in, we want to be a part of that. So the focus is really let's get this thing up in the air, let's uh, improve the performance, let's fit a larger tire, let's go have fun with it. We've been involved with Kenny on a number of builds over the years with our company. Um, for me, I fell in love with Kenny's builds back on the Raider ST. Um, when the original JK first came out, this is the first Jeep truck I'd ever seen and like, mind blown, holy crap, that is what I want right there. And uh, I started out following him for years and seeing what he's been doing and uh, over the years our relationship has grown, we've gotten involved in a lot of projects and it's just, it's been an awesome relationship to work with him and uh, really see his creativity come out into a build and actually take it from something that is just a truck, just a Jeep, just you know something that is everyday to something unimaginable of the creativity and the custom aspect of it. So it's really been cool to see that come together. 